stopping by my channel today. I want to welcome you here if this is your very first time. If you are returning, welcome back. Glad to have you all stop by today. We have a Dollar Tree haul. Yes, yes, yes. I found some new finds, y'all. I was super duper excited to find these things. And I wanted to share them with you. Now, I did find some of these things um, at the actual store, my favorite store that I shared the shop with me video the previous shop with me dollar tree and i'll make sure i link that in the description box and i found some very good things there that's my favorite dollar tree in the area where i live and um so i have some things i'm going to show you from there and then also that was on yesterday today i went into a, my second favorite dollar tree because this just always has another one that has the latest things always has the good wood crafts that i like to work with things of that nature and um so i found some new finds in there as well and i was excited to find what i found to find what i found in there that i didn't find in my favorite so if this is your type of content, go ahead and consider joining the family. We do a lot of hauls over here. All right, I do have one item that is not from Dollar Tree, but it is from Dollar General. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, maybe you are looking for some of these same items as well, or maybe you will see something here that you've never seen before in your Dollar Tree and put it on your wish list, okay? All right. If you're new here, I always save my favorite thing for last. And so, with that being said, we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to show the Dollar General one item from them first. So, keep on watching. Okay, y'all. Our first item that we're going to show from the Dollar General is this item right here. I picked up these sticker letters. It says it's four sheets, letter stickers. It's by the brand AC. You get 175 stickers. It's four sheets. And I was looking for some smaller ones. I like working with these a lot. So on this, you get the numbers, the letters, and you get the numbers. You get the capital letters and the small letters. I was so glad to find these in the Dollar General today. Yes. And um, I've actually never seen these in there. Really never looked for them, actually. And so I picked up two packs, and they were $1 each. So definitely I will be going back to pick up more because I like that size. The ones from the Dollar Tree can be a bit bigger, okay? So now that was from Dollar General. We're going to move on to the Dollar uh, Tree items. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, some of the little essentials that we have in the house first. So what I always love to pick up from there, you've seen me haul this before. This is the family style wheat bread. 16 ounces is one pound. And I love it because it's not like wheat, wheat. You know, it's not like that dark wheat. And I'm trying to transition from drinking so I'm eating. Excuse me. Eating so much, you know, white to stay healthy so I do like that wheat bread and then another favorite from the Dollar Tree is this Donald Duck orange juice now I have purchased since the haul since I did this I think I purchased about four and all but we kind of go through those I love them we love them here in the house okay so that is definitely an essential here in my house and it is um 100% pure orange juice from Concentrate. No pulp. This is 20 fluid ounces. So, y'all know that uh, y'all love that Donald Duck orange juice. Because it's hardly ever there. You know, when you see it, you got to grab it, baby. <clears throat> okay. And then another essential here in the home is this Coca-Cola. This is the 1.25 liter Coca-Cola. We love a little good old Coke. And then... Another essential here in the house is this Reynolds Wrap. This is the 15 square feet. I love Reynolds Wrap. Haven't gotten, been able to get the Reynolds Wrap from Sam's yet. That's what I really like, the 250 row square feet. But this will su suffice until I can get exactly what I need. And then another essential that I have here in the house that's especially just for me 
is I always like to pick up some type of facial wipes, makeup remover wipes, whatever. This is the 30 count soothing cleansing facial wipes, rose water, and aloe. 30 count, y'all. So I've never tried these before, so this is new for me. I will be trying them out. And it's soothing and cleansing. So we're going to see if it do what it's supposed to do. Okay? All right. Now, on to the rest of the items, which is all crafty. So if you like crafts, stick around. All right? So I'm going to show you these so we can compare the size. These are the poster stickers. These are all repurchased. I always like to pick these up. You get 56 characters. Make your message Make, make your messages pop, goes on, stays on, removes cleanly, colorable uh, letters by Crayola. And so you get 56, so you got some here on the front, and you got some here on the back. But these are a bit big, and so, but I picked up two of these, so I was glad to find the small ones. I love working with these. These will enhance your DIYs if you are new to crafting. If you're not new to craft, then just never pick them up. Try them out and see if you like. Okay? Okay, next, I picked up the Main Street Wall Creation Stickers Auto Colant uh, Removable Ammo Vibles. Ammo Vibles. Ammo Vibles. I'm not sure how you say that. Peel and Stick. Okay? It says Washer. It says wash, excuse me, y'all, dry, fold, repeat. So I love um, what this says on here. You got your dryer. You got your basket with your clothes in it. And you have this other uh, picture here, which is your clothes all nice and folded up. And then you just, the word repeat. So stick around for a DIY because I told y'all I'm going to be doing things that is going to, uh, be DIYs for the entire home. So stick around for that. Okay. Next, I found, and which I love, this was definitely a new find for me. And this is some craft fabric, but you get three different types of strips in here. It's three pieces and they are strips. Okay. So you have the Buffalo check. The next one says live simply. And it has, you know, your little um, florals on here. Really, really pretty. And then the last one is, says farmhouse, butcher house. Now, I do have the larger one like this. And I have used the larger one of these before. Um, the whole full sheet. The whole full piece of fabric. And um, I was glad to just see these little strips. So, I picked up one of these. And I picked up this one. And this one has a little bicycle with the flowers in it. I think that's cute. Then you have one with the sunflowers. And then you have the one with the truck and the sunflowers. So the daisies. They, those look like daisies. So I love that. I think that is so pretty. And what I'm going to do, because you can open it from the bottom. You don't have to, like, rip it and tear it up. You can open it from the bottom. And I'm just going to open it so you can see. And I'm curious also to see how long the strip is. Because this is going to add a nice little flare to something. And you get, looks like you get, okay, you get one long strip. One nice long strip. So it's pretty long. That's it from that way. You know, it's pretty long, y'all. I can't do it all in the camera. But it's definitely a nice this is what it looks like doubled. Okay. That's the link doubled. So I am definitely, I was definitely glad to see that because sometimes you may just want to put a piece in a very small area and some, and you don't want to um, have to use a full sheet. So that it will definitely be perfect for that. So I was glad to find those really cute. Also a new find this, says grateful thankful blessed and they had quite a bit of them and this is on a little stand this is connected and you have your little blocks in here and then you have 
your little uh, the mumps in there so this is really a counter and I love these I like having these around in the house so I was glad to find this and I probably won't do anything to it because I like how it is all um, by itself so you can create this yourself and I think it's super duper cute super duper cute and they had about I want to say about four other designs in there okay so I got that I was glad to find that. All right. Y'all saw me show this in um, the shop with me. This is the Crafted Square Brush Cleaning Pot. I like that because I used to just sit mine in a regular cup. So I like the fact that it has a little lid on it. You know, you can close it up when you're done. It snaps. Open it up. You know, fill it up like so with water. Or you can just add the water in from the top. And when you're done, you know, you just put it there. And I think it's real cute to be able to clean your brushes. Because while you're crafting, if you're new, make sure you rinse in your brushes out. Because if you kind of just sit them to the side and continue to do a DIY and get distracted and you done walked off or whatever, after a while that, that paint kind of settles inside the bristles of the brush. And um, you can get it out, but then the, it just kind of stain and get a little rough, depending on the bristles, okay? So, uh, Angela's Hauls and Lifestyles, she had hauled that, and so I had that on a wish list. So, this was a wish list item, and I'm glad I found it. And I got the yellow because yellow is my favorite color. They had them in blue lids, red, and green, and yellow, if I do remember. But check out that video because you will be able to see it's going to be linked in the description box. The Dollar Tree shot with me. Okay? All right. We're going to move on. And I also found, well, not found. I picked up the um, a five-piece glue sticks. These are the larger glue sticks right here. So, you get five. So, you know, if you have a larger glue gun for you newbies, you know, these will go a little bit further than the little small ones. I normally use the little small glue gun. And I've uh, been saying I wanted to invest in a new one, but I haven't. But uh, I went on ahead and picked those up. All right. Now, I found me some tumbling blocks. These are the hardest things to find, y'all. They are so hard. Most Dollar Trees do not have them. And they are much smaller now compared to the other ones, you know, a long time ago. But I picked these up because we're going to start building some things with these here on the channel. So stay tuned for that. So I picked up one of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, they had their Easter things out. If you go back and watch that video, this one says Cottontail and Company Egg Farm. I showed y'all that I did pick this up. Hippity Hoppity Lane, One Mile Ahead, Eggs Hunt Daily. And I love it because it is a chopping board. I love working with chopping boards. So you'll see this in a DIY. Okay, and so... Our next find was another chopping board. I found this at a different store, my second favorite store. And this one says fresh carrots, locally grown, 25 cents each. Cottontail Farms, 100% organic. So I like this. I love this. And so stay tuned for a DIY with that. I love working with the chopping boards. Okay, so the very favorite um, store that I shopped, I found these new finds. And these were the wood picks. I couldn't um, put this in the shop with me because they were at the very bottom of the um, shelf. And things were in front of them, by, beside the front door. So I was not able to um, show you these on camera that day. So this is the little caterpillar. Uh, turn into a butterfly, I want to say, yes. Where he has his little wings closed up. But you can see that it is the caterpillar in the front. It's turning into a butterfly. Really, really cute with wood pick. So they had the butterfly. They had the tulip. Aren't these cute? Super cute. They are already on the stick. And so I really like that idea. And then I want to... I'm not really sure what floral is this. But I love it. It's really, really cute. And then... They had the leaf, and I thought that was cute. I thought that was so cute. So stick around for some DIYs with that. I have so much 
in store for the channel. My head was just like all over the place today as I was approach going around in the stores and seeing some of this new stuff. But I did see these pics on other um, YouTubers' channels. And, but I didn't see the chopping boards. I didn't see those. And I didn't see the thankful, blessed um, day little calendar. I did not see that. And so the second favorite um, store that I went in, they had a nice little shelf, little, little um, end cap, I'm sorry, of these different things here look at that a little house i love the color of it i don't know if you can kind of see it here on the camera if the camera is doing any justice but i love that and it has your little kickstand on the back like a picture frame so i love that so you'll be able to sit that on the counter without having to lean it up against anything I really like that. So I already know what I'm going to do with that. And then I found this today in my second favorite store. This cute little sign here. Isn't that pretty? You have this space and then you have two other rectangle spaces. And I think, now they're not the same pattern, but I think they would pair good. So I'm excited, already have in mind what I want to do with this. So I was excited to find that as well. And that was a new find for me. The little house here on the kickstand was a new find for me. And then also what was a new find for me was this. This was in the same end cap. And this is a chalkboard, y'all. Little house. I thought this was cute. And I'm, I'm just excited to see this I really was excited to see this and they had another one like this I do believe with the white on the inside and here and on the little chimney so yeah stick around to see exactly what is done with that and that can stand up all by itself because it is on a nice um, you know it's thick it's really thick so it will stand up by itself. I'm going to stand that back there so you can see. Alright, now, my very favorite thing in this haul and it's three things, but they are all in the same type of family, okay? And this was a new find for me. I was so glad to find these. I've never seen these in my Dollar Tree. Never, okay? And I was able to pick up the pig on the stand. Isn't that a cutie? That is so cute, y'all. I love it. It's plain on the back. And it's already on a stand. And I think that that is so cute. And it's wood. It's not chalk. It's wood painted black. I love that. So you have the pig. And then there was the cow. I love that. I love that. I've seen seen these in Hobby Lobby before, but I've never seen these in the Dollar Tree. And then they had the chicken. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And so these are my favorites. These are my absolute favorites in this entire haul. So listen, I want to thank y'all for stopping by today, taking the time out to watch this video. If you watched all the way to the very end, I appreciate you. And give me a big old thumbs up. It helps my channel out. And if you like it, tell me what it is that you like. Tell me if there's anything here that you're going to put on your wish list that you're going to be on the hunt for. I thank y'all from the bottom of my heart to the brand new subbies. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are really helping me out with these subscriptions. And y'all are helping me out with these comments and liking. You all are the best. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. Listen. Y'all, stay tuned. I have so much. You see all this stuff? The DIY is going to be right here on the channel. So, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.